JD. If you're new, please do smash that like button and share and definitely subscribe. If you're a member of the channel, massive, massive respect to you lot. And how to become a member, please do click the join button. That's how it works. So as you know, it's a Reggae Boys Abroad watch. And as you saw, we have Leon Bailey in the title, but we are going to be breaking down Mikel Antonio, Leon Bailey, and what's next to come, and a few MLS players as well. We still have a few more minutes to go. Aston Villa leading. Um, our Arsenal two goals to nil. And I'm telling you, this is a epic Sunday. A epic Sunday. Epic Sunday. I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down here, but I'm gonna let everyone make get their little groove on. But this is an epic Sunday. Alright? Epic, epic. Let me get let me get the, it on the screen because it's showing on my screen there. Yes, um, Ricardo says one chippy. Yes, he got he got a goal 100%. But um, Aston Villa's te technical game today was spot on. And obviously, I'm going to talk about that further down in the video. But I just wanted, let me see how much extra time they put on that. All right. One second, guys. Let me check the extra time. Okay, eight minutes extra time. They, they placed eight minutes extra time. So Arsenal trying their best to come back in this game. But uh, to be honest, um, I don't think Arsenal deserve to come back because as you saw, um, Oli Watkins hit the post early on um, in the game. Yuri Tillemans belter off the top right as well. So really and truly, the better chances them fell to Aston Villa, even though they were playing in a counter-attacking fashion. All right? Yes. So um, I, I don't think this extra time will do nothing for them because they weren't the better team in the game. We have to be honest and unbiased as well. All right? Yes. So let me just go through the earlier results. Earlier results. All right? The earlier results. Uh, the first one, because we're going to get into the Aston Villa breakdown and everything. The first one, Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace 1. We had said that to you guys yesterday that if Crystal Palace scores, they would have been the tougher team to break down. Because Liverpool just coming off of a bad game against Atalanta. We're in which, which they got PTSD off it. And I can tell you, the entire game, Liverpool was just... They couldn't get up to the speed. I don't know what happened. If it's the amount of games they're playing or what. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But it was not one of Liverpool's game. We are in which they could have dragged that energy from what um, way up the pitch. It just couldn't happen. All right. They had some chances here and there. That is true. They had 21 shots compared to 8. But they have if 6 of that on target compared to 5. All right. And they did... Had four big chances, missed all of them. But Crystal Palace had three big chances as well in the game. They hit the woodwork once, that is Liverpool. Um, a top one with it and came back out and Crystal Palace cleared that. All right. But it was not a game that um, Crystal Palace couldn't score more goals in. So even though Liverpool had good goal mount actions, I would say Crystal Palace had good goal mount actions as well. This game could have easily gone 3-3. Um, I would say uh, Mat Mateta. Mateta, this striker, this big striker, he caused them all sorts of problems. They just couldn't deal with him. He had two guilt edge moments to score. One from two yards out, but just failed to tap it in the back of the net. So that was very poor from him. But Crystal Palace could have easily well be up 3-1. 3-1, put it at that at that time. 3-1 because they had one of their good chances, Liverpool at that time. But three chances at that time fell to um, Crystal Palace. And I thought that if Crystal Palace had the, had the extra legs to sit off, they would have always been dominant all right on the break i should say all right yes so um jean philippe uh, philippe very very good one that from him and liverpool dropped points right there all right kevin jones big up yourself thanks for being here damien dash says we need um to beg the baller to return i i wouldn't go off that let me talk about football that happened today because even the same game it, let me just stay and just give the man him credit to put the ball in the back of the net. All right? Because we are watching the game. All right? Yes. Chris, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Massive respect. DJ Gig says, RJ, Arsenal piped, started leaking from the German team. Boss it. 
All right, yes, wonderful, wonderful. All right, so we have two other Jamaicans played in this one. One second, guys, let me try and get some likes on the video because it looks like all the people that are just coming might have not found the like button. All right, how to do so is to click the triple dot at the top and um you will see the like appears all right it's a different feature that we're using at, at, at this moment and if you do support it it helps me um very very well all right so definitely get the likes up marlon bless yourself thanks for being here I, i'm gonna break down the aston villa game as well yeah yeah but <laughs> But I had I had to I had to um I had to come out early. Um I wanted to start a little bit later, but I had to come out early because people smoked me yesterday with my predictions, you know. So the fact that I am I am a million percent right on the big bad predictions, you know. Um at everyone. All right. Bam. Oh one second people. Let me get the the thing right here okay i've not put any any goal in it oh my bad my bad um uh, people might think that me i fight against the big bad leon you know because i have not put the goal in it so let me make sure to put the goal right here all right bam 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 all right so let me put it right here and the people can come in if they do want all right <laughs> All right, so anyways, let me, let, me, let me continue because we had two other reggae boys. Yes, yes. Um, so the, the, the Premier League, have not, it's not over, people. It's not over. It's not over. It is not over, all right? Yes, not over at all. So anyways, Fulham 2-0 victory. 2-0 victory um, over West Ham. We had Mikel Antonio playing in this one from the start. But we never saw Bobby Reed. So I don't know if Bobby Reed is carry, carrying an injury um, until late. All right. So he came on in the 74th minute because uh, either he's carrying an injury for the whole season or something. For him not to be getting in the game because he started off the good the first half of that season looking solid, but right after that they seems to start taking off off the bench. So let me know what say you guys as it relates to the big bad Bobby Reed. All right, sixteen minutes played Bobby Reed. Um, like all the other times, had eleven touches, eight of eight passing, which is hundred percent. One key pass in that time and ground duels two of five. All right, Ariel Dual, he lost that one and he committed one foul and completed two tackles but got dribble pass twice all right so that is big bad um bobby reed right there fully deserved to be on the listing all right yes and guys remember once you you do you join the video later what you could do for me is to always pose your questions down there and i will try my best to answer all right thanks for the continuous support massive massive respect for that yeah man you guys are doing a great job as to how you guys support the platform and i'm trying to improve it every single day so you guys can enjoy it i'm trying to bring back the vibes as to what i brought um to this space all right yes so I'm, I'm trying to work on it. It's taken a little while, but yeah. All right. Um, the chairman said, I told you Bailey always show up in big games. I just won $600. Determine, determine. Um, I, I don't know why, you, why we can't just talk on the game itself. It's the Aston Villa game. And why we can't just deal with Liam Bailey giving his credit and be seen, you know, like be rational as to what we saw on the field, you know? Yes. I don't know why. Why it can't just go that way, you know? <laughs> I'm giving the dude his credit and you you just out here want to want extra than what what that what, what was not in the game, you know? You like you want me to make up things by this point. All right. Oh, referee blow off the whistle, man. Blow off the whistle, man. Let me let me celebrate, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, where where is all the Aston man? They, they died. They died, people. So all right, let me continue. Let me continue. Let me continue. All right. Full time. Full time. Aston Villa two. Aston Villa two. Arsenal nil. Nil nil. Aston Villa two. Arsenal nil. All right. So that is incredible. So it's finished. It's finished now, people. Aston Villa two. Arsenal nil. All right, nil, nil, nil. All right, so let me put it right here. So, 
Aston Villa 2 Ar Arsenal nil. Very, very good result for the Premier League. All right. Um, I, this is not the time for any shout out for anybody. I'm very sorry. Just, just come on, man. I built my video to talk about football. What, what's up with you guys and shout out, man? Why, why should I be out here shouting out people, man? Um, big up to me, Liam Bailey. Um, <laughs> Damien Dash Arsenal lose, so you start a stream. I would have started my stream regardless. All right, but Arsenal losing the game from earlier, so I started a little bit earlier. I was watching games the whole day. All right, so what? Why can't I not stop my stream? Huh? Uh, uh, why can't I not stop my stream? Oh my God! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anxious Entertainment says, "Congrats to Man City for winning the 2023 2024 English Premier League." Jeremy and Chairman's up. Up, big up yourself, thanks for being here. Wonder if them are gonna say bad mind Arsenal, your bad mind Arsenal. No, they're gonna say that they're going to, they have to deflect. All right, so, anyways, let me talk about West Ham and then we, we stop on Aston Villa Arsenal. That's where we're gonna stop. All right, one hour we're giving them, one hour. All right, I am not laughing, I'm just, I love football. All right, so if you guys upset. This is not the place for you. I'm very sorry. If you're upset, this is not the place. I love football. All right? All right. So, anyways, we had Mikel Antonio. Mikel Antonio, um, he played 82 minutes, which is good. So, he has more minutes under his belt. But they had a tough night. A tough day, I should say. One shot off target. And um, he had two dribbles tried, completed one. Had one big chance, missed in the game. Had 41 touches, which is good. Because he never normally has so much chances um in are so much touches in the games so that is good for um big bad um antonio all right um two crosses stride one of one long ball ground duels two of five ERL duels two of three of two um last position 15 times was fouled once and that's about it right there all right So Mikel Antonio, not the best. Um, I think he has one of the second worst score on the day because he missed that big chance. But he was integral towards the style of play. And I think he's going to finish this the season strong. All right. That's my take on Mikel Antonio. Let me go back on the Arsenal now. Let me put it on the big screen. So we, we, we're not focusing on no other game. All right. So this game set up. This game set up. Let me, let me, let me go into football now. Let me go into football now. Straight up. Um, the game, um, Unai Emery got this spot on from day one, spot on from day one, straight up. Guys, if you can't comprehend, don't come here. This is not the channel for you. This is not a two IQ channel. This is a super IQ channel. All right. We deal with football here. So if you're the DBL stand or the delusional Butler fans, them don't come here. All right. This is not the place for you. Straight up. So the, the coach got it right from day one. They had to set. They had to set um, the traps from in midfield. They had to put. They had to put um, Zaniola deeper, and they had to have Musa deeper. All right. Yes. So they were pretty much in a four 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 deep. Then a 1-1 one -one system. So Zaniola and Musa was actually working from deeper. Liam Bailey couldn't do that job and he doesn't have the skill set to require um, a central role. I've said that on my last stream when they never played him against Manchester City and it's the same thing here. What they've realized that Musa adds more defensive coverage. Even at one of the time, Musa trapped back to left, right back and was comfortable to close down Trossard to win a throw-in off the close down that he had those were the things in that they had to do in the early stage to break to get their counter attacks all right so that was, it was a perfect setup for them right there all right however once they released their team when the team is dangerous it showcased where Liam Bailey comes alive where he comes alive because he gets more free space even though he never got so much free spaces in the first half in the first in, in the first 10 15 minutes when he, get, he got on because when he dropped deeper, he never looked so comfortable. Um, on the ball, he lost the ball and it turned into a counter attack, but it was blocked as well. All right, yes, but once you, you could see that liveliness once he gets it over the line, 
you know, and after the first five minutes, he started to stay on the line, and then he made a link up play with Kanza. Once he made that link up, that touch pass, and he stayed on the line, he never dropped deeper, but he stayed on the line. I respect it because I said, I said, okay, he's learning. You know why he's learning? Because he never ran to double up with the play. He realized that, okay, Kanza overlapping, let me not go there, let me stay back. In, in on the halfway line so I can offer something defensive and I said wow that is nice from Leon Bailey that is nice from Leon Bailey if you guys were watching those plays that's what I'm talking about that's what I want you to do so he's not the DRB that he drops deeper 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 to the left back and do all of those things but he still can play at least two of the thirds them and he did that right there that shows that he's learning to have principle in the game and i like that those are the things that i always wanted to see um from him always wanted to see from him so you see i'm not biased or i'm not bad-minded if i see the right thing i'm going to call it out that was good from leon Dale right there and that's why his uh, his, up, his his teammates start to believe in him then because once he, he sucked them in early won the ball they looked at his side and then feed him in the play because now they saw that you're working for the team and um he made a, a double a, a, a dribble went into traffic which i thought that was poor um but right after that he dropped back with the, th the triple team to win win back a throw in for aston villa and i said yes you're losing the ball, but you still go back and work hard for the ball. So it was not just a goal. It was not just a goal. He was also fighting to be in the game. And I could have felt that as well, which is very, very good. All right? Yes. Um, the second goal Watkins scored is because Bailey pressed the play. Um, but I'm giving I'm giving all the plays them. So if people miss the plays, they can see that I am actually watching the game play by play. All right. All right. Big up, big up everyone that comes in. Please do it like button, share, and subscribe. Um, um, JD, don't mix up formation with system, please. Um, um Ansin, I go to football in school, and you alone go to football in school. So don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, what am I doing on the field, Ansin? Just stop, just stop. All right. This is not the place where you come and tell me or about football. All right. You, you go anywhere else to do that. All right. Yes. Not here. Don't do that, my brother. Please. All right. Yes. Um, all of uno bad mind. Um, the baller uno snake in a grass. Um, Gifton, this is not the place for you. You can just go where you you you, you can't. You not have much sense. All right. This is not the place for you. All right. Because clearly you not have much sense. All right. Um, agree with you, JD. Those defensive plays were very um impressive. That's all I'm saying. So you still have people have low IQ who can't comprehend like that person just a while ago. I had to, I had to just block them because I have no time for that. No time to waste. It's just facts we are staying on. All right. I can tell you anything about football after you're not big. No, you can't. You can't tell me nothing about football. That's all. You can't tell me nothing. That's all I'm saying. So if I'm too arrogant, you just go on your channel to talk about football. But this is not the place for you. I don't have the time for that. All right? Yeah, man. Um, let me move on. Let me move on. Let me bring up Leon Bailey's stats. I'm going to give my, my, my take. Um, 29 minutes played. 29 minutes played. A goal. Um, he had 18 touches. And, and this is not going to be about you, unseen. Because uh, you know nothing. All right, then you come off of my channel then. Simple as that. And don't come back. Yeah, man. Just don't come back. Simple. I have nothing for you there. Just don't come back. Yeah, simple. I mean, I have no time for you nowadays. Enough is enough. Um, 18 touches. Um, 8 out of 10, which is 80%. Um, shots on target, 1. Um, 2 um, dribbles. Tried, completed 1, which I just talked about that when he ran into the triple team right there. Ground doors, 1 of 2. And aerial doors, um, 2 of 3. Possession last 4. Um, was fouled, 1. Offside, 1. Clearance, 1. And that's about it for Liam Bailey. But he was pressing in the right areas and he got the, the vital goal that they could have worked off. Worked off, alright? Yes. Yeah, man. Minute in night, minute in night today. T today is not the day again. Today is not the day anymore. I'm done with it. I'm done with them waste of time, people. Yeah? And them average brain cells, people. Yeah? Enough. <clears throat> um, JD, you only like Bailey when him help Man City. No, 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 no. That is not the case. We, we love the football today. Was a good game. Um, aside from Leon Bailey, aside from Leon Bailey, um, Aston Villa was doing some good things in this game, you know. 
Um, uh, you, they were doing some good things in this game as well, you know. Remember, they were, they were they're dropping deep, but their touches, their touches, the play of the match. Who would you give the play of the match? The play of the match for me, I am very, I think Diego Carlos or Yuri Tillemans would be my play of the match. I, I, I wanted to go Yuri Tillemans, but Diego Carlos' recovery, his recovery is immense. So I might would have gone for Diego Carlos over, over your Tillemans. You get me? So I want you guys to know. Uh, no, man. Listen to me now. I am not in the foolishness. Enough of them. I'm trying to damage my streams anytime I start. They have their own channels. Just go to their own channels. I have nothing to say with them. All right? They are in Jamaica. Just do what they're doing. If you say no, everything about football, then go and do it, man. Who cares? I don't want to know what you know. I will learn what I'm learning. Go to school. Yeah, man. So um, I would go with um, Torres was outstanding today. Yes, the, uh, Carlos. All right. So the, everyone said Carlos, they would have given it to. Um, Tillemans, if he had gotten that goal, um, um, definitely I would have um, worked work with it. I worked with him as the, the man of the match. But because he never got that goal, we, we, we kind of did up some points and we are going to give it to Diego Carlos. All right? Um, JD's on a mission today. No, 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 no. The, the JD, JD's, um, the, that's how they, they, they don't rate you, but they want to always be here to eat off you. It's not going to work. Those days are done on my platforms. No joking. Meaning I no play with nobody. All right? When I come here, come here to do my job. And I leave. All right? Yeah, man. Make them go about them business and try style me. And then if me hear, I'm going to feel like I diss them, may embarrass them after. Um, Torres was key in the team breaking um, our press. He's so calm. I, I think his speed recovery, you know, speed recovery is good too as well. Both of them, Carlos are a little bit faster than Torres. And with his speed, speed recovery on the day, I would say still. But um, both of them, I'm, Im I'm impressed with both of them, um, to be honest. <clears throat> um you know not, not not talk today um yeah um, enough is enough all right yes yeah, so um let me we talk about what's up now because both of the teams did good for them no aston villa did good for um itself and arsenal um definitely lost some ground on on on, on the overall settings so let me give you what's up all right so arsenal sits on 71 points no, after playing 72. So um only Aston Villa plays 73. Alright? So Aston Villa now. Um if Tottenham should go on to win again and win by two or three clear, clear goals, they are gonna go in front of Aston Villa because Tottenham had so much games in hand, um it kinda um still don't make them get the gap away from from from, from Tottenham. You hear me um, from Aston Villa. All right, so they, if uh, Tottenham come out and put on a good, a better performance and win over three, I do believe that they are going to go. They are going to go above Aston Villa, but it would be not good because I thought that Aston Villa put out a good performance. They should stay in the top four based on what I saw. I think that it's just because their away farm is pretty much poor for the entire season. Yeah, um, hence why they are in the, this the, the debacle. To be honest, all right, but it's still not done. It's still the top four is still not done because Tottenham have a game in hand and they can win their game in hand and surpass Aston Villa again. So the title people fighting for it, um, the top four people fighting for it, and then relegation people fight fighting for it. All right, people um, Burnley technically not out of it as yet Sheffield is the only one I would say got relegated by now they are after 32 16 points Burnley and 20 um, but because Faris is on 26 it still keeps them because two wins flipped over that number and Everton is on 27 but Everton has two games in hand and I do believe that they're going to pick up points um, in one of those games all right yes but Brentford and 32 already, I think that might be safe for them. Yes, I don't think Luton or none of the guys in the top three, top bottom three will get enough points. So I would say most of those teams are safe. Um, from Everton, from Everton level, um, everyone upwards is safe. It's it's between Forest, Luton, Bur um, Burnley, and Sheffield. So I'm going to say Sheffield going down. Um, Burnley will not win enough games. Yes. 
And I have a feeling that it's going to be tough between Luton and Forrest. I don't know which one of them will go, go, go down. But I am going to say I have a feeling that Luton will pull it off because Luton is deadly at home, you know. Luton is deadly at home. You understand me? Luton is deadly at home. And I have a feeling that Luton could pick up more points at home. All right? Um... I understand people want to give um, Forest City, you know. But I think Luton might actually stay up over Forest City, you know, people. I, I want to give because I think Forest have good players, you know. Quality players that should stay up, you know. But I think Luton might just steal this. Luton might just steal it, people. Yeah, I, I think you, Luton might just steal it. Big up yourself, Karen Bogle. Massive respect. Um, Coach Dino, JD, you know why I'm here. Right, laugh out loud. Big up yourself. Villa um, will get top four. I am not 100% sure. Let me start go down into the details now. Um, the details of the games them, that both teams has left. So we know exactly um, what will um, what will what, what will be um, the, the games. All right, so Aston Villa uh, at home, Bour Bournemouth. Bournemouth. That should be a game that they should win. But they are going to be playing Lille away in the second leg. That, that's going to jade, jade their legs. It's the 18th and they have to come back on the 21st. So that game will be a little bit more difficult. But it's a game that they should be winning. Alright? After a good performance like this. Then after that they have Chelsea. They have Brighton. They have Liverpool. They have Crystal Palace. Chelsea and Liverpool are two teams that I think that they are not going to be the favourites over. Because Chelsea is a team that can turn up and, and Chelsea beat them the last time. And I think Chelsea's style will be a kryptonite for them. So Chelsea and Liverpool will be the two teams that I can see they drop points, points against. And more likely they could drop points against the, them. All right, But they still have three more games that they can get points in. So let me get Tottenham up on the, on the field. So we can know exactly what's up with Tottenham. So Tottenham has Arsenal next. A game that they don't they are not sure of winning. 100 percent Alright. Then you don't if me a big waste man, you know, don't come back here, man. I'm critical FF you're a clown, bro. Simple as that. Alright? Yeah man, you don't come back, man. Let me. Let me make sure I block you from this channel. No, man. Block them, man. Block them, man. Just don't make them come back here. Simple as that. Don't come back here. You're a clown. Simple as that. That is not... This is, I'm telling you, this channel is different from today. Don't come back. I don't like, you know, when the two dunce and fool fool. So this is not the place, you know. Two dunce. All right? Yeah, man. Don't come back here. Straight up. Different me. All right? Yeah, man. Um, Arsenal. Arsenal, um, Tottenham will be playing first. Then they are going to have Chelsea after. Um, that is two games. Two games that I would say they are not the favourites in. Not the plateau favourites. Because they have Chelsea at home and they have Arsenal again. All right, It's going to be a tough game. Um, they might be even at least. But they are not going to be the favourites. All right? Yes. Then they have Liverpool after. Okay, 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 okay. Then they have Man City after. All right, it looks like it looks like um, Aston Villa will will be qualified, have a good chance to qualify. JD is what went down today. Um, all the big side get um, drum. Well, I don't know, I don't know. All right, yeah, man. City showing why they are the best in EPL. No, 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 no. I think I would more say it shows what the EPL is made of. It shows what the EPL is, was made of. Because it was not City played Liverpool. It was not um, um, City played Arsenal. It was Aston Villa played Arsenal. Crystal Palace played Liverpool. So let me give them their credit. JD, remember Tottenham have um, a game in hand. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter saying, Boeing. They, they have City, they have Liverpool. They have City, they have Liverpool, um, they have Arsenal, and they have Tottenham. You hear me? They have Chelsea. That's four teams that they are not fully above. They are not fully above. All right? Um, I don't think they're going in none of those games as favourites. So you can't have four games that you are not favourites in. And then um, Aston Villa has three games. I, I would say that they are going to be favourites in. All right? And the next two, they are not clear outsiders. All right, so um, I would say it's favor, it's favoring, it's favoring um, 
Aston Villa at this point based on the, the amount of teams. Not saying Tottenham cannot get those wins. But it's not, it's favoring the uh, uh, next side. We have to call it as it is. Alright, sorry about that, people. I don't know why my internet going down. Um sorry about that, yeah? Um, JD, this last break, Mr. Big up yourself, genius. Thanks for being here. Massive, massive respect. All right, yeah, man. Um, JD, mind them at work, uh, witchcraft. No, they might try everything, um, ballot, ballot kick. Every day them come here, that's all they're good at. They can't work, they can't learn anything. Them don't like dog. And all them come here is come and fight, fight people on YouTube. That's all them do every day. Believe me, me I don't have it for them anymore. I am, I, I, I have lost my cool. All right, none of them can around with me. Anytime them turn up, me go embarrass them. So them better don't come on that channel, yeah. All right, yeah, man. So me go stay on football and just do my thing. And nobody now have to come up. No, me no need a, no people from here have to come here. At the fan base come here. We talk about football and we go back about business. Me no, me no leave a Jamaica and me no, me no like them people. Me no really want to be chatting with them people. So me just come and talk my football. All right, yeah, man. And that me the fan. So if I'm a football, people no contact me. I mean, I really want to hear nothing about JFF. I mean, I really like people either. Straight up. All right. Um, um, Docklan, big up yourself. Bless up. Um, we have to find a way to get back Bailey in the Reggae Boys team. All right. So we have to ask that question now. Um, J Bailey and in JD, another title. All right. Um, turn off the TV, Gemma, please. Um, so the internet can, can stay up. Um, J me, me, you, yata, me, me, I, do, I, me just tell you, me just say, me say what me say, I'm a done talk. I mean, and this is not the channel anymore where anybody come and try style me. Anybody. I'm going to embarrass them. All right? Yeah, man. Me, I go back to my old ways. Um, JD, why you let them know? Me tell you, when me tell you, I'm a done. Me stick back to my football and we do with a stupid thing. Um, them get them, them know the right thing, but them know so just disrespect from here. All right, so some of them have to learn for to have sense and go to school because them dunce like dog. All right, yeah, man. And and so let me start, we stand up, um, and and chop up where we are chop up. So for me, Aston Villa look like they can get top four. If they don't get the top four from here, it's down to them because I do believe that they are going to have the favorites, um, in certain um brackets. All right, yes, football year, anything you want, call it as anything, yeah, anything. I must say, disrespect anything. That's what I say. I'm a stay on football. Anybody disrespect me, get disrespect straight up. Um, man miserable like him a granny. Okay. Um, Kemi, I um, hope all is well with you and the family. All right? Yeah, man. Um, full and beat. Yeah, full and beat West Ham. And they're, they're fear winners. Fear winners. He didn't do much in the game. Yes, he scored, but he didn't do much. Let's be honest. Dr. Dr. Dan, I've said that. I've said that from day one. Um, he got a, a role to do and I talked about everything that he did in the game. Every moment I wrote them down, every one of them. So I, I, I never came here to argue with anyone because I know what I'm saying is a fact. It's not something arguable. You understand me? Yes. Um, JD, please don't say dunce like dog. Um, dogs are very intelligent animal, unlike those you're referring to. Um, uh, unstoppable, um, says Bailey the goat. I don't know about that. And pastor, true that pastor. Uh, Michael Thomas, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Massive, massive respect. All right. Yeah, man. So people hit the like button, share and subscribe. Just support my thing when I'm com I come here by hitting the like button. That's all I ask. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. Once I'm, once I'm done with my thing and then I just gone back to my family and come back, watch my thing and just give, give you what. You, you, you pay me to come and do. All right? Yeah, man. So let me look at some of the other games I'm coming up. JD, JD, Bailey strike a dagger in Arsenal art. Be, be honest, people. I'm telling you, straight up. Let me tell you, because you know, you know, I, 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 I am a man, don't business. All right? You know, I am a man, don't business. Um, I'm out here celebrating. <laughs> I am out here celebrating. You guys, believe me, I was celebrating Leon Bailey scoring the goal. I, I was telling him, go to the back post. Because I saw my boy, um, I'm breaking. I said, go to the back post, you know. And when he controlled the ball, remember, they had two persons there, you know. So it was not fully clear, you know. It, it, it still had a gap, but it was not fully cleared. All right? But I'm saying strike it. The strike that's hard. That's possible. And I'm celebrating. So maybe it's the first time Lee and Bailey make me celebrate, you know, people. Maybe it's the first time Lee and Bailey actually make me celebrate. Believe me. 
All right? <laughs> Maybe it's the first time Lee and Billy actually let me celebrate. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. You, oh, you, you know, I can't understand with some of you people. I vibes. Don't celebrate too early, JD. Title race not done yet. But I am supporting a reggae boy. So why? What, me say this first time Lee and Billy let me celebrate. And then all of a sudden, no, I mean, shouldn't celebrate. Okay, you know, I so me, me, I can't win. You know why? <laughs> because what I'm celebrating, you are not happy with, and that is the problem. <laughs> it, we know, we know it's not over, people. But I'm just telling you, telling you that the guy may celebrate the last time I was down on my knees in in the coach. I want uh, uh, um Bayern to batter um 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 Arsenal. You know, yes. <laughs> Jupiter, you find my. All right, so um, oh, oh to all oh, me celebrate Bailey goal. You would think I was an Aston Villa fan. Well, I'm telling you, my auntie, my auntie will see this video and call me and say, "Okay, uh, I, you always, you always a fight against Aston Villa, but Aston Villa make you celebrate today." <laughs> All right, <laughs> don't worry. Whisper will have you celebrating too. Um, but uh, what not have to do it today? Um, determined, yeah, determined. Forget on my nerves, but I am not going to let you. All right, uh, Man City don't have PTSD, people. One hundred percent celebration up. Determined, that bless up. JD question. Oh, they say Bailey can't use him right foot. I don't know what people says um, different, Dre. Um, if you heard that from someone, it's maybe just someone just fighting against the kid, all right? Because I've never said anything like that and I don't ever heard people talk about him right foot or left foot or whatever foot, all right? I don't even care about that. I just know that he put the ball in the back of the net. And it was very close. Um, I don't think foot really mattered, all right? He just needed to get it on target. Just, Set a body and a strike it as hard as possible. And once it reach in the back of the net, that's all count. Man, man can't read patwa. No, I'm just going faster and things running through my brains. That's all. All right. <laughs> Max City in the building said, Arsenal, I'll go buy a new dog. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> big up, big up, big up. Um, different J, yeah, man, different J. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, uh, if if people say I can't use him right foot, he must just work on the right foot. I'm could I can't use him right foot, and then learned, all right, because he can learn. Um, JD typical Arsenal falter segment when it counts. Um, tell you what, Jason tell we say Arsenal learn everything, all right. So because them learn everything, we cannot say. We cannot say them falter. We can just give Aston Villa their credit and Unai Emery. Guys, you guys should remember, you know, Unai Emery. Unai Emery is actually from Arsenal, yeah, people. Un Unai Emery get disrespected, you know. Unai Emery get disrespected from Arsenal, you know. So he had something up his sleeve for the... Oh. Uh, nobody talked about that. Nobody talked about that. Oh, oh people missing out that. Oh, people missing out that Unai Emery is from Arsenal. They never disrespect the man, people. See, you think the man won if in a one game him won't win at this game. So Unai talk about Lee and Bill and everybody. The coach won one game. You, 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 Unai Emery. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, boss. Actually, stop Arsenal from winning the league. At it's six points he took away from them. He, he, he defeated them twice. Um, he sco scored three goals without conceding any. Three goals. Two from Liam Bailey, one from Oli Watkins. And uh, good evening. The title is gone. All right? <laughs> yes, beat them twice. You know? All right. Uh, <laughs> um, I said it last night that it would be his revenge. Patrick Riley, big up, big up. Yes, you did. Arteta should have, should, shouldn't have moved up upwards to midfield um, for this match. Start Jesus and and just bench Kai, but don't put him in the midfield. So you thought that that's what let them down. All right, let me pull up. Let me pull up. Let me pull up this. Let me pull up this um, so I can get the Arsenal game. 
Bailey has shamed the haters them. Um, architect, architect, to be honest, you know, to be honest, let me let me reason with you straight up. Nobody hate um Leon Bailey. And Leon Bailey have done nothing in this game for anybody that criticized Leon Bailey to think anything otherwise. Straight up architect. But you have to learn to 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 segregate things and talk with context and i think that is what most of these places on youtube don't don't do you have zero context um offer to anything so when people talking they're just talking in joining up joining up period all right joining up period all right them just talking in joining up period and i have no time for that if i say the guy does something um this is what he does on the day so I can criticize him for that. And if he does something well, that means I have balls and I have no hidden agenda against the player. Because if a player come out and play good and you come out and say the player play good, that means you don't have any hidden agenda from the player. You understand me? So we need to, we, we need to, we need to um, a reason more logical I, I that is my only problem. I do suffer from this category. I don't think a reason rational at all. Like everything, if we say something, and I and I wouldn't want to be around people like that, you know, in like in life, you know. If you can touch me, you know, in real life, you know, because those people will kill people for no reason. Because it's like the comprehension is just not there, and everybody just thinking drying up, and it's just getting an eye in. Because if someone um assess something and give a take on that said subject, why can't they come over on a different subject and say something different? I don't know. You know, let me let go that man. At least here, let this let 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 let, let, let you have some sense when he come on to here. Cause when once he come on to here, we are gonna always be um breaking down things. You don't get a pass for the next game you play. So you have every you have a whole heap of Jamaican channel. You can just go anywhere else and you can find what you want. I am not so Jamaican. The only Jamaican I have is on my bird paper. I just stay civil and reason, rational. All right? Yeah, man. That's just me. So when you come here, if the man play good, you're going to hear me tell you the man play good. But if he not play good, you're not going to hear me tell you about man a big baller and the greatest thing. It not going to happen. All right? So get that in a tough head. It not going to happen. Me's a realist. All right? Yeah, man. All me can say, Bailey playing championship football instead of little Copa America. Well, that is a different argument. That is a different argument. All right? That is a different argument. Where, where are all of these um, other com comments come from? Aubrey, honestly, I think Arsenal lost the title with this last. It, it is possible. It is possible. But I, I am not going to jump. I am not going to, I'm not going to jump to say it's done and dusted. Because um, let me Arsenal have a tough... Arsenal, Arsenal had the toughest schedule. This was one of the games that we said it can... It's not 50-50, but it was like 40-60. Because uh, uh, Aston Villa has, has quality players on their field um, at all times that they can hurt Arsenal. But this was like a 35, I would put it 35, 35 65, put it right here, 35 65. All right, but the other games, I'm like the Chelsea was a little bit higher, um, and um, Chelsea and the Tottenham was a little bit higher. So 65 and 40, I would uh, uh, no, 40 and 40, I would give them both. Um, J JD, ignorance, um, is blissed. Let's focus on, yeah, man, but I have to clear it up, man, because they keep on coming here. I don't know why, where they like they just have a, have a done said WhatsApp group with all them, them all them brain cellars wired the same way, and it's getting annoying now, you know, who want civil reasoning that can take my channel forward i can't but everybody don't say the reasoning every single day and, and make up stories and fantasy you know it's just not for me um christoph says um just like um smash the like button massive respect christoph um hope you all is well but this is if people don't like it i don't even care because i know that i'm gonna come and talk my ish um because i just i was just in that mood you know because sometimes you have to make people know what time it is this game remind um reminded me um of the brighton game that they fl flundered with you can see the wind going out of um, the team. So let me ask you, um, JD member, um, big teeth, clo <laughs> No, no, Stefan, Stefan, I had to, I had to talk about that. I, I started it with Liverpool. Started Man City not going to mess up um, at this point. All right, fair enough. Let me let me check Man City. Man City. Because remember, people have game, you know. People have game. And the games are coming quick and fast. All right? The games are coming quick and fast. 
All right. Um, so Real Madrid in three days time for 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 uh, Man City. Three days time, and then after that they have um, Chelsea in the FA Cup three days later. All right, so that's two tough, tough games on their bodies. All right, and then a good, they have Brighton away. Brighton away, they have Forest away. Forest is fighting relegation. That's going to be a tough one. All right, but both of them, they are going to be, um, Brighton will be closer because the type of football they play, they can keep the football. And um, um, City is not the, the, the super over-the-top person team. Sometimes they will start and go through the flows and take a while to, to get get fully inflated on their pressing all right so that game could be a tricky one but you could see city still winning it forest i think they should be beating forest regardless of what team they do put out and then wolves wolves is always a tricky team because wolves is com comfortable sitting back and, and breaking on the counter comfortable all right yes they are very much comfortable um doing so all right yes so that will be a hard one they have fulham away as well it's gonna be a hard one but they should be winning that and they have tottenham um they have tottenham away as well and and they are going to end it with West Ham. So I, it looks like they are they are favorites in every game, every game. But I still think they it you have a you have one more game that they are going to slip up in. One more game, I think. One more game, I think they are going to slip up in. But the sad thing is, I think that Arsenal is going to slip up in more games, and Liverpool will be slipping up in more games as well because Liverpool has four um away games. And you know how Liverpool thing goes with the away um, games. All right. Let me get Liverpool um, schedule here. Liverpool as, as Atalanta, we are in which they have gotten a 3 nil um, beat down. It could have been 10 nil or 8 nil. Exact result should have been 8 nil. Um, then they have Fulham. Fulham away could be a tricky tie for them. Um, sometimes full and prove to be tricky for a lot of people, Arsenal and others, yes. Um, even uh, Manchester City, they, they prove to be a tricky, tricky um, against as well. Everton, they have Everton away, then they have West Ham away, all right? And then they came, they come back to have Tottenham at home. So even the one game that they have, they have at home uh, might not be easy. Then they have to go away to play Aston Villa, and then they have Wolves at home. So Aston Villa, Tottenham is a problem for them. Everton, West Ham is going to be a problem for them. And I could say full Fulham will be a problem for them because so I could see Liverpool dropping points as close as ne the next week, the next open week. Liverpool could be dropping points. All right, Liverpool could be dropping points because um, they, when the cars don't go their way um, and they are not so dominant and they're uh, they're they're pressing away. All right, because I, I honestly believe that some of the time the cars them help Liverpool big time. I know Demo and the man them will be upset as the way I talk about the cars them, but today some of the, the, the cars them for Crystal Palace was so blatant and they don't even give them, you know. <clears throat> um, JD, I respect you, but you're, you're live for your twin, Diaby. Allow you to bash Bailey. Um, they have allowed me to bash Bailey. No, man, no, no. I've not bashed Bailey. I, I've not bashed Bailey. I just said they are two different players. But the coach got it right because the coach was trying to nullify Arsenal. And they did nullify them to a certain extent. Because even the first half, it was our, them should be going in, in the lead. So I'm just saying the strategy was right. And Leon Bailey played his role as well. So everyone did what they, they should be doing, you know? That's all. Um, by by Arsenal and Liverpool, welcome Manchester City. Um, wasn't Nunes alone? The whole team was disappointment, missing point blank chances. But remember, you know, we can say that. But even if if they, if Liverpool had scored their chances, and you count um, these guys, remember, Alice made a a, a a point blank save as well, you know. Right in front of the boxing, like it's just a tap in you. And remember, um, um, what's his name again? Um, Robertson, Robertson, clear, he cleared one of the line that was halfway over the line here. So Liverpool should have been losing 3 nil in the first half alone. 3 nil in the first half alone. Or 3 1 because they did hit the bar in, in that. But the, the three chances were big, big chances that they should have been losing 3 1 in the first half. You know, when you know Liverpool not playing good, when you hear, um, 
uh, the, the, the I was watching ESPN. I was looking at look at look, looking at um, ESPN and ESPN. They asked them at halftime if Liverpool coming back into this um, into this um, game. And the man said, no, him not see it. At least him not see Liverpool winning this. Because him not see two more goals from them. And, and Crystal Palace don't score back. So from a man can say that, that tells you how clear it was as it relates to how good Crystal Palace was actually handling um, Liverpool. You understand me? Because it was that clear. <laughs> um, Fox JD, you have a point. Liverpool should have at least draw, drawn the match. But I don't think they deserve to win the match. They weren't the better team. I have to be honest. Crystal Palace was good, man. You get me? Um, laugh at me when I said as a Villa can beat Arsenal. Nobody laughed at, the, at you when they said Villa can be. You, you said Villa can beat Arsenal. When they said Villa will beat Arsenal like 100%, people can laugh at you because they weren't the favourites. That is two different things. Because I think that is exact because you're trying to pose it to Jason. And I, I agreed with Jason. I said they can win the match. The video is there. I said they can win the match. And I would love for them to win the match. I am rooting for them to win the match. But I cannot go into this game to say that they are the favorites. They have to play a certain way. I've explained a certain way. And they came out and did the same thing what I've said. The only thing I've, I've, I, I never said was I never wanted to call you guys Pillarman name. Pillar master name, so when you get delusional. So I'd made sure to not say that. But if I had said that, I would have gotten the, the formation, the system, everything correct. All right? Yes, but I chose not to because sometimes I can't bother with the whole heap long explanation for no reason. All right? Yes. Oh, Jamaican, um, Jamaica bad my Leon Bailey. I don't know Teddy Lee. I just think it's just... Um, um, what a Kool-Aid man. What a, eh, eh, well, tell a Kool-Aid man. Delete your comments. Um, and ride properly or else you're gonna get um, blocked from the channel because you, you can't call me a liar when a video is there All right, so you know what you call me a liar um, And a video is here. So you see true me no say a lie Me I'm gonna block you from a channel too as well because enough is enough You get me because the video is right there. All right, I'm in a one for this is you So let me just block you from a channel and we just move on you don't have to come back here All right, the video is there and you can you can listen when we talk so clearly, you're so dunce, you can't comprehend, you can't even hear what people say. So listen good. That's how the things that people hear people. Because when you can't listen, that's how you go around and kill so much people. Because none of sense. Simple as that. Because my goodness, man. The video is there. Go back and look at the video. Then they come and criticize me to say that I'm a liar. But if I said I said it in the video, you know, go back to the damn video, man. And you come back here and tell me I'm a liar. But you can't do it because that's what, that was what I said in the video. You have to jump off an, an uninjured path because you're uninjured, man. Go on, man. Fool. Um, <clears throat> Jamalo, eight goals, three assists, and nobody talk about him except JD. We, we, we talk about every player and we want to give everybody their credit. You get me? Yeah, man. Everybody your credit, man. Believe me, when we're done, every pillow man get blocked from the channel. Every one of them. Every one of them I get blocked from the channel because them comprehension skills is zero. Terrible man, you know? Terrible man. Um, Arsenal had more than enough chances um, to win this, the game. Villa need, need it. No, no man. You know, you know, we're unfair. You're unfair if you're going to say that, you know? Because if you're going to count Arsenal chances, them, Villa hit the bar twice. Oli Watkins, uh, Watkins get an inside post. Um, Tillerman get a double inside post. Double inside post. All right? Double inside post. All right? Yes. So, and they scored two more goals. All right? And they scored two more goals. So, I can't say that Arsenal actually get the most chances. All right? So, I can't say Arsenal get the most chances. I have to be honest. The, the best Arsenal could have done, if we're going to count everything, I would have to say, I, 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 would, I would have to say, I would have to say, 3-2, um, 3-4-3, three, 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 four, three, four, three then, if we're going to count their both chances. Yes, I believe Kool-Aid man, you laugh at him when he said that's why angry cars Villa, but um, Looney, Looney, um, listen to what I've just said. I'm, I, listen to what I've just said. I have, nobody never said, nobody laugh with him. 
or laugh of time or whatever him describe it as. But I've said the video is there. So why are you going to argue with someone when they say the video is there? All they do is just clip it and say a lie, a lie me I tell. And when he proves yeah, the true we are talking, but you just never know how to comprehend something, then that's where it comes from. You know? I mean, it's too, it's a little bit too dunce, man. So it's not going to keep on it. The whole one going to get black. Everyone now know. Go on a dunce channel, man. Um, the chances were about even, honestly. Well, boy, me, not, me never see that in a Jason. Me, me try to give Arsenal as much credit, you know, because, boy, couple, the, the, two of the over the top ball, them turned out to be offside with as averts. Me can't count those because the other ones, them were, where they hit the post was not offside. You understand me? So I, but I never saw Arsenal had four clear chances to score like that. So I, I have to be honest, you know, if it's four, three, um, but I think the Villa deserve to win it. I think Villa deserve to win it. I think so. Even if it's by the one goal, yes, man, yes, man. Believe me, oh, um, say a minute in and not joking today. Today, they disrespect them, dear man. Believe me. Yes, well, Phil B, they, 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 they have to read it up because a lot of people don't, see, don't like them listen to it as podcasts. So when, when we block them and them go elsewhere, they disrespect me because that's all them can do. You understand me? So I have to make sure we tell people why I block them. <clears throat> um, Jupiter, it's just sad. It's sad, man. It's sad, man. It's just sad, you know? Because we come here just to just talk about the football and the parasite, them just, them just, them just, them just come like leeches, you know? Yeah, man. Them, them parasite, man, you know? Um, Villa played well. Arsenal seems... Um, they have uh, 10 more years to learn. No, 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 no. No, man, me, me not gonna give, uh, me can't give Arsenal 10 more years. Me, me think that they might do good. They just need a, a deep, They need to refine their system. Last year, they, they changed a few things, you know? Um, Kamali, Kamali, it just, it just sad. It just sad. It just teach me that the last thing I should do is go around none of these people in Jamaica because I'm surely dead because their comprehension skills is trash. You know? Yeah, man. May I tell you that it's truth? Yeah, man. man you know, I, I don't want to see none of those commentaries in real life because either I have to kill them, which more, more, it more likely would turn out that way, you know, because they only have to have a gun to kill me. You understand me? Because in physical battle, it's not going to work. Because them comprehension skills is so low, they might can't even move their fingernail aside from having a gun. You understand me? Yes. So in reality, they, they might can't kill me physically without a gun. You know, but it, it does show you that that's why you should stay far from these people because they are trash, man. You know, it's sad, man. But I have to call them out, man, because they are so disrespectful. So I have to just dis be disrespectful to them as well. I don't care who want to be sad to me I behave, but it's getting on my nerves now, man. They, they are disrespectful, man. Um, I know, I know Craig Butler going to talk like he is the, the Villa coach, but he, the, the player came on, the player came on in the game and the strategy work. So what, what we, anybody that assessed the game and said the coach played a good system, we can clearly say that, okay, maybe the player is not an all around player. So that means the player is not perfect. You understand me? But he offers something. You, you get me? And I think this is what proves my point, what type of player he is, which is more of a, um, a, a, role, uh, a, a luxury player. When I had said a luxury player, um, people um, said that I'm being disrespectful to the player. But I, I just believe that he doesn't really give me what I would want from Diaby, like how I saw Diaby going deeper, deeper, deeper and defending and he's comfortable to do that. I just see that that is just not Leon Bailey. He's just not a true um, deeper line midfielder. He's a winger. He's a traditional winger. That's what he is. Right, a right winger, left winger. That's it. He's nothing else. He's not that type of dude. You get me? He's just that. He's a luxury player. That's what I think. 
and that is not that was not a dig at any point that was just a factual statement of, of what the player is and he is deadly at doing that so i i have given his credit but we can give other people their credit and when we do that we can give the coach him credit to say that the assessment of of, of how he sets up his team to get something against arsenal was spot on he tried it against us against man city you know, but man city scored a little bit early and that's why um all right JD, people need to understand Bailey is just um, a, a good system player. Outside of that, he will run into problems. Um, I think Aston Villa could still win the Premiership. No, no, no. Drop, drop. That is not. That's not. That's not in. That's not in at this point. Um, different J said, JD, don't make them draw you out. No, man. This, this, after this, I'm not going to pay them any mind because they're going to be blocked. But I just used this video to get rid of them. Because I knew that they were coming, you know. I knew that they were coming. Um, Bailey defensive work work rate is improving under em Emery. Um, Harry Vibes, just stop going over the top, man. I don't, I don't think. I don't even think they want. Um, I, I don't even think they want. I don't even think they want him to be that way as well. I think they have already realized what his, skill, his strengths are. And he, they try to work with that strength. When Diaby is on the field, they set up a little bit different. When he's on the field, they set up a little bit different as well in their system. So that's what they, they I think they found out what he is and they are trying to work on that. Um, Aston Villa can get the third spot. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. Why, why are we? Why? <laughs> I think that is disrespectful. Let me see the third spot. 71 points to Liverpool, Aston Villa and 63. Liverpool have a game in hand over Aston Villa. Arsenal have a game in hand over Aston Villa. City have a game in hand over Aston Villa. So, with all of them have a game in hand, um, um, DJ Architect. So, you're going to tell me that um, Liverpool will lose, drop drop 8 more points. No, they are going to drop um, um, 11 more points. And Aston Villa gain all of that points. Uh, no, that is almost impossible. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. <laughs> Bailey's strength is to score goals. I, I, Pillow Gang leader, I, I would agree with you right there. I would agree with you right there because I think my explanation of what the player is was spot on from day one. I think he is more of a striker, naturally, like the goal scoring ability, but he was not strong enough to play striker. You know, because he doesn't have the body to hold off players. So that's why he turns into a more wing forward. And he has the speed as well. You know, that's what I thought. You know? Yeah. Um, there are eight points off Arsenal and Villa with with a game in hand this weekend. There are eight points off Arsenal. No, 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 no. But no, no. Arsenal is in second spot. Um, Jason. Arsenal is in second spot. So, um, Arsenal is in second spot. Liverpool is um, in third spot, even if even though it's goal difference. Yeah, but um, and both of them have a have a have a. But he's he's saying that it's in third spot. Arsenal is in second spot. So I think he's talking Liverpool. Liverpool is talking. Um, he's talking Liverpool. I don't see. I don't think big teams can just go on after that that bad losing streak. Um, Architect, I'm very sorry. And I don't see Aston Villa winning all of their games. I don't see it. All right. But we can't, we, we're just glad that they won this game and kind of showing up themselves to get into the champion, Champions League. Um, Aston Villa isn't um, even sure they get in fourth place. That's what I've said to him because Tottenham has a game in hand. Um, and if they do win though, that with like three games or so, or three goals extra, they are going to jump straight up to um aston villa's level and but the difference is they are going to be playing um arsenal next so i'm telling you it's either aston villa getting <laughs> it's either aston villa getting the, uh, getting the the, the 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 champions league this week because if if arsenal beats if arsenal beats um Beats um, Tottenham. Tottenham will stay, go 33 and Aston Villa will jump to maybe 66. 
No, Aston, um, Arsenal will go 74 and Aston Villa will go 66. And Tottenham will still have a game in hand, but six points behind them with just a game in hand. All right? And a full three points ahead of them. Um, Aston Villa will be ahead of them. And I want to think that they could hold that together because they have a goal difference as well. And the teams that Tottenham has to play, even if they do get wins, um, even if they do win, get wins, I, 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 I see from there, um, I don't think they are going to match up the goal difference. That's the difference. <clears throat> um, so, JD, um, so you find 10 wingers better than Bailey as yet. Um, I think we have, what, what, we have eight. We have eight that has more goals contribution than him um, in the list. What I found, so he would have been the ninth, um, Gmail, the ninth winger, and we have to t we have to take out Isaac out of it because Isaac plays wide forward, but he also plays central forward as well. All right, we have we have players that play. We have more than ten, but around eleven truly. They play wide forward, but they are also strikers, so we can't use them, even though they are play they are play that position. The reason why I've said that because we have Son Son that is playing striker from time to time, but he's a winger, and we registered him in the competition as a winger, so we don't we can't switch it to make up numbers just to get ten players that is above Leon Bailey. All right, J Mills. So I think he reaches ninth. Let me give you the players them that I uh, that I found it um in the listing because I went I went into goal, goals and assists found it on my phone I, on my phone I found it all right um let me let me let me let me find it on my phone because I don't know how this becomes an argument it's like you just want it to be an argument because you know a lot of people them can't comprehend but I'm gonna just do it just to give you the players them I'm just giving people I'm just giving you um the goals and assists at this point. People with goals and assists that are wingers. Salah on 26. Cole Palmer on 25. Son in Min on 24. Bakari Sane on 20, 22, which is four players. One, two, three, four in the top six alone. Foden on 21, five players there. Jared Bowen on 20, six players there. All right. Anthony Garden on 18, seven player. All right. Cunha, um, 17 as well. He can play both sides, but I would say he's wide, wide forward majority of the time. Yes. So he's a wide forward majority of the time. So that's what I use him as. So 17 makes eight and Leon Bailey would make the ninth. All right. So I'm done there. I'm done there. That is a nine player. So Leon Bailey comes in at nine G mills. All right, I've named the nine. Liam Billy comes in at nine, and I've excluded all the flat out strikers. Them, all right, yes, every one of them have more goals contribution. Only Cunha, um, no, Cunha is on 17, and Liam Billy just reached on 17 as well. All right, Gmail, so you decide your fate right there because you guys give gave me those things what you want me to use, and I've used those criteria. All right. So you can't spin the story back again um, on me, okay? Where does um, Bailey rank as um, winger in Jamaica's history? Um, that uh, Pillow Gang leader, we have, to go in, we have to go deep in history to find that out. We have to go deep in history to find that out. Deep, deep in history. Um, and, and I can't tell you no. I can't tell you off the back. Because um, wingers, wing forwards, I think we have to mix wingers with wing forwards as well. Which I think they are similar. Um, and he will rate, he will be rated highly, Pillar Gang Leader. He will be rated highly because the reason why we don't have so much high quality players in our history, you know. Ah, uh, we hear, we hear talking, we don't have um, so much high quality players in our history. So I think Liam Billy playing at the highest level, um, he should be up there. If he's not in the top five, I would be surprised because we don't have that amount of players that played at that level. You know, so if he's not in the top five, and the reason why, um, I don't know, I, I don't know how to put the rest of them. Yeah, because Walter Boyd would have been classed as a wing forward as well. Yes, because he was a wide forward. He can play central forward as well, but he was more of a wide, wide forward as well. All right. So I love a lot of people in Jamaica rate Walter Boyd to a different level because the last time when I told him that Leon Bailey is better than Walter Boyd, and it's not even close, um, they had said to me that it's just because. Walter Boy never get the chance as Leon Bailey, but Walter Boy played in England. 
He just, they, nobody saw him to give him the opportunity as Leon Bailey. That was the difference at that level. You understand me? But people make the excuse. So what I've realized in Jamaica, um, I just believe that people like who they like and, and they don't um, add anything, uh, any seeing, seeing conversation to it. So for some people, they think that Walter Boyd is better than Leon Bailey. I don't believe so. I had said from day one, that is madness. But they say that I don't know the player and the player was better and I never followed the player when I was clearly born and watching the player because he was hyped. He, he was hyped. Um, he was very hyped, all right? Jock Daniels, G Liam Bale is the best player, uh, best winger Jamaica ever had. Um, this man is delusional and an eater. Okay, thank you, Jock Daniels. I think your, your comprehension skills is terrible because if I had said that I don't know all of them, but I would put him in the top five, I'm, I'm sure that he's in the top five. It's simple to tell you know, that I don't know um, all of them, all right? So, yes, no problem, no problem. Uh, I think you're stupid. Yes, so you can just go about your business. You're very stupid, all right? Yes. Because if I said I don't know all of them and, and he might come um, top five and w w wherever you want to put him in the top five, if you in your brain cell, put n n you want to put him in, in number one, you put him in number one, but you look like you're desperate um, for notoriety. So take a block and go hold yourself in a corner. Um, it's great to hear JD agreeing um, a lot on um, this show. Shows, um, show was liked um, and shared. All right, <laughs> but but um, pillow gang leader. The sad thing, you know, the sad thing, you know, um, I I have agreed on a lot more things, you know, but they just don't listen because they don't comprehend. All right, um, LB, they can do that all they want. All right, as I said, this is not for the people who have zero IQ. This program is not for them. All right, yes. <laughs> and the sad thing, LB, every single time they come right here, they come right here um, to watch me. See, um, so far we have gone, what, one hour? 3,000 of them trekking already. 3,000. Yes. <laughs> it's very sad. Hello, it's great Sunday. Um, Drew Ross, this was a, a fire Sunday, you know? Yeah, fire Sunday. Yeah, man, they lack every ability um, to comprehend. They're not going to stop getting beaten. Hmm. <laughs> Um, from JD said, top five, you know that mean number one. I don't know. I said you can put them anywhere you want because I've heard other persons said that Walter Boyd is the best thing, and I and I have not. I don't agree with that because I don't rate that player that highly. And I think Liam Bailey is better than him. That's what I've said, you know, publicly, you know. But because that person just a while ago is so dunce. You know, and the worst thing happened to these people in this space, all of them, the, all of the dunce people, the group up in a one um, youth um, WhatsApp group. So you have a bunch of dunce people and the whole of them just move from one place to one place. And that's why they behave so fool, fool. As I've said, that's the worst thing ever happened to this category. The bag of dunce, them can go in a WhatsApp group and they, they have no lives. So they just talk all sorts of foolishness and then come on YouTube for try Either scrape money and all of them stupid stuff there, you know? Yeah, they, they need to go to school, man. Sell on the phone, come out to the WhatsApp group, they want to go to school. Think it will help you know, very well, all right? Um, big up yourself, Martin Baker. How are you doing, man? I think Pearl, more skiller. Um, Bala kick, I, I just don't think he's a better football, better player than Leon Bailey. If you want to put any one of the attributes, I have no problem. I just don't have that eye level, and that's what I was trying to explain. So if someone have him above Leon Bailey, I have no problem. That means Leon Bailey would have gone to number two. You understand me? And then maybe they would have found someone else that plays wing forward to put again, uh, over Leon Bailey. So as I said, um, top five and then people decides where they want to put him simple as that i have not said anything wrong i just said top five and then you decide where you want to put him but these guys have zero comprehensive skills zero i don't know how in the world they, they even find a bus to take go take go home to a stupid they are um <clears throat> LB, if cb don't go um on such man show um he can't eat Pure sensationalism. And um, maybe that's the exact case, LB, um, because maybe that's the reason why they do it. If they weren't eating off it, they wouldn't do it either. I am not asking you. I'm telling you that as a fact. If most of them weren't making money on YouTube, they wouldn't be on YouTube. You get me? Yes. And maybe if they could make money here, they might even try YouTube in the first place. Um, JD, um, is a plain domino today? 
just block the game today. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, so people, the real ones and that came in the show, um, hit the like button, hit the like button. All you, all you find the like button in this feature is to click the triple dot at the top of the screen. All right, yeah. Once you click the triple that you can share the video and you can like the video. All right, for the next stream, we are not gonna pay none of these guys any mind. This was just for this stream. All right, because I knew that they were coming and I was prepared for them. It starts with big done said unseen first. Come here, come and talk about who don't know about football and who don't know about football. Me not have a zero at license. All right, and we don't show off. So know your place. All right, yeah, man. You know, just, don't, no, 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 come play with me. One, 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 try it already. Don't come over here, man. Come in a like, you know. Make you know that. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, JD, I hope, you know, and no, 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 Vinny Congo, I, I am not unblocking none of them. None of them not coming back to this channel. None of them. I don't want them back here. I don't like them. They are a bunch of dunce ass people. We are make the whole category dunce like dog. None of them now come back here. None of them. Them stay about them business. The whole of them have a group up and eat me like oh, oh the category start. It's going to stay there. Because I going to start, I going to keep doing what I do. When I talk my football and just leave. No chattings. If I'm not big now, boy, who can lick me my face? I'm going mean, to kill that. Who can play with me? Who she that in that category can ramp with me? I'm here, man. Make my free face when anything more I say. I just not, me just not run certain joke. Um, JD, um, they, they beat me the same way when I said um, low um, was better than um, Boyd. Okay, okay. Um, um, in the know, yeah, man, I just said them for stay, man. You see, me I block them. Them don't need to come here. Me I block them for that purpose there. None of them boy can't lick me on my face or talk to me anyway. I'm going to kill that. Um, JD, I told you Bailey was going to slap up Arsenal. Well, I'm um, saying, as we said, we all said, you know, we wanted that, you know. We all said we wanted that. We all said we wanted that, you know, but saying we can't be delusional and say that we, 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 we saw it coming. And that's all we are saying. We're glad that it happened because the only thing people can truly say that we are, we are a resident Arsenal eater. You understand me? <laughs> that's the only thing I can agree on. We are we are resident Arsenal eater. That's what the one thing I could say people say that I am. And I sometimes look at it and say, you know, maybe I true, maybe my burnout Arsenal a lot more. You know? Maybe that, that's the only cons consistent thing people can say, you know? Yes. <laughs> A uh, JD, me say, me say you've stopped this. Yeah, no, no, no. Me I tell, me I tell the little average subscriber them uh, where, where I play with me. I tell me, I tell me foolish. Is me I tell them say. <clears throat> um. Uh. You know, if you ignore them, um, they would stop. Yeah, no, man, we're, we're, we're going to block all of them. All of them. All right? Um, know yourself. Big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Yeah, man. Massive respect. Yeah, yeah. All the real, real dudes, them. Um, roll up. Massive respect, man. <laughs> um, uh... uh JD, Bailey, do, do the job. Uh, uh, Gmail, may I tell a Gmail? I am telling you, I was so happy today. I was celebrating. You know, I was celebrating. Uh, as Sen Tenasa said, can't say me never did a warn you. All right, so, all right, let me, let me, let, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write down some things. Let me, let me ask some questions here. So let me ask some questions here. Because since some of you guys are making some definitive statements, I want to claim it because I always come back and say I want to write, you know. So I'm going to write down the things, then. I'm going to write down the things, then. I'm going to write down the things, then. Um, I'm going to write down the things, then. Uh, all right, so sing, sing. Uh, <laughs> 
the, 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 them change the, the number boss even if you block them no them can them clear a bill them can come back again um unseen can come back on a channel you get me never ever in a life and him can't talk to me never in a, ever in a life me no me no run joke you know me no fright me no frighten for people you know just some is a person you know so as me said if them want to know who means test me you want to test me and see if on a, on a like on a look and on look at average youtube life on the test me now if I'm sure no me is. So we want to hear where um, um, sing, sing officer, um, sing officer. Um, more want to hear sing officer. All right, so tell me where Aston Villa finishing. Let me write, may I write down names? May I take names, you know? May I, I'm taking names. So that means in the future, in the future, all I know, we, as we claim to say, um, we get it wrong. So sing, give me where you think. All right, God bless it. You would say fort. All right, so fort. So that is realistic. So I mean, why hear the man and will come and say third man right down the name? God bless you, it is different. You know? Why and <laughs> Villa finishes, okay. Villa have fort lockdown. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let me believe alone. You know. uh, Guna says fort. Um, so hold on, so everybody never. So why when we start write down things now, all I want to start change it to some. So, so uh, uh, money to them go for third, you know. And money to them go for third, you know. And we are with us. We, we, you see, it? once we write it down, you know, tune no one up on the, the book, you know. When they start changing the motion, like man, like sing, you know, we'll sit third, you know. <laughs> Villa will come forth, all right? Um, it was Chemis and, and Singh. Um, okay, well, not two people, not two persons, not Jason. A two person that said so, you know. So that means a two person said so, you know. It's not like I'm delusional and nobody never says so. So if two persons say it, them, them say it. Them, them say it. They had said it, you know. They had said it, you know. Let me see right here. All right, good. Arsenal Fort and City Second Float Management. Ar no, 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 Villa Fort and um, City Second. Arsenal First. All right, and Pool Third. All right, so Float Management still believe that Arsenal winning it. All right, so we tell, just educate us on where you think the slip up will come. That's what that's what we want. That's what we want. Where the, the slip up will come. Educate us on where the slip up will will come. Um, City can't lose from here. Yes, I, 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 um, I, 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 I agree. I agree. I agree. You One one bad month, month Villa had no no that's not that's not true Villa Villa away record was not the best let me give you Villa away record there away games all right so Aston Villa Aston Villa away games let's see away games all right so um away they have they, they have um eight eight wins four draws and five losses. Five losses. Um, so they are we. So that means they, they drop points in nine of the, the the nine of the seventeen games played. Nine. So you can't say um they have only one bad month. They never played nine games in one month. All right. Yes. So they had multiple bad months because are are decent. I would say because some of them turned out in, into draws and losses. So they are they are they are they are a new team coming up. You know, they are a new team coming up. So just give them a, give them a chance to grow. Um, stop just jumping to say that they are going to be this big super team this year. You know, because that might not be true. All right? <clears throat> yeah. 
Gunners for life. Big up yourself, um, Sean Sutherland. Massive, massive respect, big boss. All right? Hope all is well with you and the family. All right? Yeah, man. Massive, massive respect. All right, so I think we have reached the end, you know. I think we have reached the end of this one. Uh, can you tell us um, what happened with um, the broadcasting gig? The broadcasting gig. Um, what, what are you talking about? Let me know. Let, educate me. Educate me. Is it, what you're, is it the Nigeria thing you're talking about? Because if that's the case, if that's the case... Um, it's still on and it's it's working. It's working out well. I'm just waiting on the guy, which is G Wizzy, or Wizzy Wizzy TV. He will get back to me when it, it gets closer to the time. If it's the Nigeria one you're talking about, JD catching um a flight um to Warsaw. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. Re respect, respect. Thanks for passing through, man. Um, question from Mister JD from the gang. Is Villa going to the final in the Europa League? Who I you know that's a tough one, you know. That's a tough one, Pillar Gang. Lead down. Um, you know why I would say so? Because I think I I think let me let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Just, just to make sure. Let me pull it up. Because they have Lil. And Lil was slightly better than them in the last game, you know. But they got all three points, you know. So I am not sure if they pass Lil again, you know, but if they do pass Lil, I can tell you um, it's looking good for them. It's looking definitely good for them if they can pass Lil. It's going to be tough because that's a, an away game. That's an away game. So if they can pass them, I, I would start, start looking at it a little bit better, you know, because... Yeah, 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 but I, I am not, sure. I'm not certain. I am, I'm not going to say it's a sure win. You know, I am not saying that against Lil is a sure win. Um, people, I am very sorry. I, I, I don't think it's a sure win um, right there. So that is my biggest problem. But if they do win it, they can keep on getting more confidence um, to go forward. But aside from that, no, 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 no. It's not a, it's not a sure win at all, you know. I hope Antonio is okay. He was grabbing um, his right shoulder during the game. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. All right. So, um, people, people, um, one and a half hours, I got to celebrate. Um, obviously, I had to do some fights because that is normal. That is normal. It's a Jamaica space, so I never expected nothing else. You know, so that is normal and we do our thing. All right, so thanks to all the genuine people that came here, and obviously we are weeding out some of the terrible bad breeds um, from coming here. So hopefully we start get more of the genuine um, people that wants to talk football, watch the games, them, and you know that's that's my goal. My goal is to have more people watching the games. I think a lot the, the category at this point is filled with a lot of people that don't watch the games and then there's common bill of vibes. So I, I'm hoping that we can reach that level in the future where we everybody watch the games and are are interested in football and not just the drama of cult cult leaderships and them stuff there. You know seeing human beings. We want a lot more of those people. So those are the people that, that I'm trying to aim for for the rest of the year. Maybe it's not the not the most people um, but the, at least you can you can count on those people to have good relations and you you enjoy your streams a little bit better so i think i'm going to avoid um certain streams um to be honest you know because I, I don't think it makes much sense um jd what what is happening in the youtube space peace and love um no steady right nothing not not mean more than um me have to just tell one and since i don't play with my brother don't come on my channel, come talk about it, but I don't know, know nothing. And I am not that dude, you know, so I just say, I say it on my mind and I said straight up, say I, I don't, this is not the dunce platform where um, you barely can comprehend and just lead people down a wrong path because you're desperate for money. I am not that dude. Come here, honestly watch football and I have a football platform or platforms because I don't have to do Jamaican videos. So I have platforms. And I do, I do talk football. So Jamaica is a part of it because I was born in Jamaica. So I do that and then I just move on. 
You understand me? Yes, so I wanted to keep it football related and that's what I'm trying to achieve. I realized that the category kind of gone down the drain um, stead right to nothing at all. So you have people that know knows nothing about football. Um, they don't watch football. They just hear a person score and then they jump up and just want to build videos and them stuff there. So it gone down to a, a, a scrub, a scrub le level. That's what the category gone down to, a scrub level. So all I'm trying to do is to grab my piece of what I'm doing and put it in a different part so people know that I am nothing of that scrub level. I am a person that watches football and come here to talk on football, you know? So I'm trying to cut out that part, that little part for myself. Yeah, that's what I am trying to achieve, you know? Um, Trippy has 15 goals, 12 assists this year, okay? Um, Bailey can only score goals against big six. Him not good, okay? Um, I don't know what, I don't know where that come from, Romario. Um, South, uh, South Africa, you're coming from? Big up yourself. Um... Uh, yeah yeah man so respect people and thanks for passing through um for another a brilliant one i'm going to make the wallpaper and um i maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow because i have a, um an olympic video to deal with and i have some short videos coming out so i wanted to do it uh which i which i had actually um had them in line but i just never had the time to complete them so i'm gonna try and do the short videos them yes yeah, so that's what i have on my mind um favorite football team um it's not one, I would say two, um, Ajax and Manchester City. Two. Um, Pillow Gang said, be, JD, be careful. You don't have to do Jamaican football. Um, we at the gang will run, run with it and say Jamaica can't do nothing for you. Um, if you want to take it as that, um, you take it as that, you know. Um, because the, the, I don't consider the, this, this category as Jamaica. I just consider it as a YouTube category um, that it get, gets exploited like several other business ventures in Jamaica. That's what I see it as. Um, without calling names, your product will speak um, for itself. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. But, uh, but I, had to, I had to defend myself. If a person tried to disrespect me on my channel, I'm going to diss him. Don't. It's simple as that, you know. And then I moved on. But we moved on from that. Said right, just because you came here and asked. That's why I repeated it because we are not afraid of people, you know um jd um drama ads um to the views no no that's a lie g emails um i have done the most views in this category for the entire time i'm here this video is on four thousand now four thousand g emails the next video yesterday i did 53 minutes it's on three to four to two thousand five hundred the next one was um one thir one hour 38 and th those are in the day that does 4,000. Um, Gmail is nothing like that. If you do your job, if you do your job, people come and watch it. That's a lie. All right? Yes. I think what you're, you just want Bill of Vibes Gmails and that's the difference, you know? Yes. Yeah, so, so the drama not add to nothing at all. No, man. People, people genuinely come here um, and wanted content. The best time um, in this space for me was when people just want, when I was just doing football, me and Marlon here talking, football alone, you know? That was the best time for me and in this category. That was the best time. Um, and the views were over the top 10,000 in almost every video. All right? So I don't think it's drama sell anything. I think that's what they brought it down to. To make it more drama, drama filled. So they don't have to you gain any talent or work hard for anything. So they have brought it down to that, but that not that's not ne necessarily what it is and or what it was at any point. You understand my Gmail? Yeah, that's what that's what it is. Um, Africa streams go more. Um, ah, I, no, I just think Africa streams. People when I do African streams, um, people looking for the games. Um, on on and on the day, on the day, so more people are actually available. Yes, but um, but at the same time, it's every time I'm doing African streams is assessing players, see what I, I, I saw and say on it. And we just um, do our conversation and that's about it. And that's what people comes for, you know, and that's what I'm trying to say to Dream Mills. It's not necessarily drama um, gives you views because everything that I've done on, on YouTube was always football based and it does more, more views. Um, football content making uh, comeback people drama going out uh, okay 
um, need to do more football. A lot of other channels will will do do the the other stuff. Yes, but that's what we want to go for go for. So I'm not going to unblock none of these people that I blocked today. So they they just just make sure they delete they they dislike all of the videos because they ain't coming back on this channel. You understand me? And any one of them they come back with the same behavior throughout the streams. I I just block them. None of the moderators um have to block them. I will just block them. And remove them. Um, big up, um, Leon Chippy Bailey. Brilliant performance. Um, confirm your your worth to be filler. Big up yourself, Nitro. Hope all is well with you and your family. Um, you like basketball? Yes, man. I played basketball, man. I played basketball, yeah. And I watch basketball every single night. Um, when I do have the time, you know. Once I I don't have any work, or I have to get up early in the morning, I will watch basketball. Um, as in the views, um, I see like hundred um thousand for you doing um a football stream um on Africa. Ah, uh, yes, I I have done hundred thousand. Um, uh, yes, I've done hundred thousand, but um, that was much days, much much days. I I would say like ten thousand, ten thousand, um, anywhere of ten thousand up. That's normal rate. But some days, if you are you are doing if you are doing a job better, you can get upwards of anything, you know. But you have to work. You have to keep on working, and that's a good challenge. That's a good challenge. It's not you have to be, build more excitement and tell more lies and sell more dramas and stuff. You just need to to know about the player them a little bit more. Um, make people like you, your content and stuff. So it it adds more value um to what you're doing. You're working hard for something. So it makes it more enjoy, enjoying. Here, here, I don't think that's the case. Uh, so that's let me do five. Let me do five minutes more minutes and then close it off at hundred. So send in the comments them in. Um, that shows you they know that your info on football is spot up, is on point. Yes, but I know that the thing is. Um, the thing in in, in the know the problem is. Um, I am from Jamaica, so I know I know how delusional unseen and those people are, you know. Um, even before them get one subject in a life, them things them be they, they do believe that they are better than everybody. That is how our culture naturally thinks. That's how they are. So sometimes what the what that does, it kind of make them feel before they even start. You know why? Because they tend to go down a tunnel vision every single time because they start to fixate on one person to say that they are better than that person rather than rather than to go and cut out a niche for themselves or the art or to learn the craft. You understand me? So um so when they are coming here to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about, I I have I, I, I never even believe them. I just wanted to embarrass him, you know? Yeah. Um so that's how it is, man. But come it will take, take four more minutes to answer um some more seeing questions, you know. And um we still need eight more um likes on this one for the likes to go up. So definitely do that. Um basketball no good again. Uh no man, basketball is still good. I would say that the time as the times has changed, so it makes things a little bit different. Right across the world, um, what what was deemed as the standard for quality, it, it has actually dropped. We we can all say that, you know. Maybe it's because of technology um reached to a different level. Um, yeah, maybe that's the case. Yeah, maybe. But tell you what, I am not sure, you know. But I, I don't I don't believe that the standard of like what Michael Jordan and others did back then and how hard they had to fight for certain things. I don't think it's the same because certain rules have changed and technology have improved as well. You know, and maybe people kind of pandering um, to people to get certain things done rather than and giving them certain things rather than um, trying to make it as hard as possible or make it as normal as possible for everyone to have the equal footing. I don't think that's the similar cases because the other day I was watching what's the Grizzlies, Grizzlies versus Lakers. And I could clearly see that they are trying everything for Lakers to win because it looks like it's more of about money rather than okay this man played better so let this man win they tried everything to make um labran them go to the final the, the, the playoffs because that that would have 
enhance the package that they would have earned. So that's how time change, you know? So I think, I think you could look at it that way, but I still believe that you have ta more talented players now. Like you have more, all right, so for instance, you, you, you don't have the greatest here now, but you have more talented players in general, but they have changed the system to make it easier. Um, for certain things to work out or to control it and dictate the pace who goes through from who doesn't. That's a different. They always give um, um, calls to star players. I, but I, Ronnie, um, I, I've watched the game. I, I know you have different calls to star players and um, blatant because I put these things in play because I want to control the narratives. And I think that game was a controlling narratives um, right there. And obviously to save the, the rights for the, or the viewership for, for the NBA. Period. That's what I think. Yes. Um, Lila says, Jesus loves you. Well, um, that is very nice, you know. That is very nice. I, I, would, I would be happy if that's the case, you know. Um... So, all right, so that's it now, people. We have not seen enough questions, so we are, and we, are, we have passed the 100 right there, all right? Okay, Light Seeker. Uh, I have a weird question. Oh, did you get that scar? Um, about my scar in my face, I... I I know I'm not hundred percent sure. How, how did that happen? I'm not. I'm not sure, but maybe in some battle, maybe in some battle, light seeker. You know, maybe in some battle, I've gotten that scar, but I I don't remember exactly which one. All right. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. So light seeker, that was the final one. So thanks all of the genuine people that came here um to have that discussion. Hopefully the next one we can have more of the same discussion with less of the um delusional people them turning up all right because some at some point they will leave all right yeah so if you have a bad experience with this one believe me you're going to have a better one the next time bye bye